everyone welcome back again so we are on the second lecture of uh, knowing our numbers we have done in the previous sections about uh, comparing the numbers place values place place values face values international system international system we have just done the inserting of the commas writing in the expanded form uh, writing in the word form and uh, we did the formation of a number shifting of the numbers we did in the last lecture right so today we'll be doing the word problem on the like uh, the larger numbers and here we'll be doing the discussing more of it right estimation and the roman numbers i think so this is all you have already done in the class 5th grade so let's begin with it again so welcome back again and i'm sakshi kishorwal forget to say that i'm a math expert in our it and so let's get started with her so we have this so these are the topics which we are going to cover that's the word problem involving lag squares and then the systems of measurements that different unit of measurements estimations of bracket rounding of the numbers sum and difference in the roman numbers right these are the topics which we are going to taking off right okay so uh, first uh, okay let's take the first question like uh, Okay, so it says that in an election, in an election, the successful candidate registered how much better five lakh seventy seven thousand five hundred seventy votes, and then the and his nearest rival secured three lakhs forty eight thousand six hundred eighty five votes. By what margin did the successful candidate win the vote? So uh, the candidate won is like this. Candidate won. How you're going to write the solution? Candidate. Hmm. it is like this candidate one right so candidate one is how much better 5,77,570 right and the candidate lost candidate lost yeah the lost candidate like uh, the candidate lost uh is like is equals to what beta 3 lakh 48,685 right uh, 85 right 85 this is 85 I write it properly. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. So you have to see that by which margin. So you have to take out or what the better difference, right? So the difference is basically the difference is equals to what five seven seven five seven zero minus. Three four eight six eight five. Right. So you do the difference. So this will be five. And this is equals to what sixteen minus eight, and this is equals to what fourteen, and this is what sixteen, and this is equals to what again sixteen, and this is going to be what six. This is how much you're going to take the differences. So this will be equals to eight, and this will be eight, and this is two, and this will be what two. So it is what two lakh twenty eight thousand eight hundred eighty five. This is the margin, right? This one is your what beta the margin, right? Okay. Now coming to two lakh twenty eight thousand eight hundred eighty five, right? So it says that Ravish has seventy eight thousand five hundred ninety two with him. He placed an order for purchasing thirty nine radio set, each for rupees one thousand two hundred fifty four. Each, how much money will be? How much money will remain with him after the purchase, right? So again, you have to do the difference. So it says that the cost of one radio. Cost of one radio is equals to how much? Wait, the cost of one radio is equals to what? Rupees one thousand two hundred thirty-four. Then the cost of thirty-nine radios will be how much? Wait, the cost of thirty-nine radios is equals to what? Wait, thirty-nine into one two three four. So you do the calculation. So one two three four. Right, one, two, three, four multiplied by what? Wait, thirty-nine. Right. So you just multiply. So thirty-nine into Thirty-nine four zero is equal to three nine thirty-six three. Then thirty and twenty-one. Twenty-one cut two, and this is eleven, right? And this is equal to what? With a twelve, twelve cut one ten, ten cut one six, and this is seven, and this is equal to three. So this is equal to six two one eight four, right? So which is equal to what? With a forty-eight thousand one hundred twenty-six. Now the money remained with him, like so. The money remained with him will be how much? With a the money. Remain will be equals to what? Beta total money, right? Total money minus the like the expense that the expense of thirty nine radio, 
एक्सपेंस ऑफ थर्टी नाइन रेडियो ये ऑन ओ राइट थर्टी नाइन रेडियो सो विच इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच बेटर सेवेंटी एट थाउजेंड फाइव नाइन टू माइनस ऑफ फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो यू डू द डिफरेंस दिस विल बी वॉट सिक्स एंड एट माइनस टू इज वॉट अगेन सिक्स दिस इज फोर एंड दिस इज वॉट थ्री जीरो सो दिस इज द आंसर विल बी वॉट बेटर रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सिक्स इज योर आंसर दैट्स इट Okay, thirty thousand four hundred forty-six, right? Okay. Now see, it is means what? See, system of measurements is like this. Uh, what is a ten millimeter? See, the ten millimeter is equals to what? One centimeter. So this you have to learn, right? So this is very nice. So it says that milli, centi, deci, u, deca, hecto, and like milli, you start like then you multiply by ten, you will get centimeter. Then uh, you multiply it again by 10 you will get decimeter then again you multiply this you will be get what meter right then again you will multiply so this is how you will be doing it right so 1 meter is equals to what beta 100 cm and 100 cm is equals to what 1000 mm right so 1 km is equals to what 1000 meters and 1 gram is equals to 100 mm 1000 mg and 1 kg is equals to what 100 g and 1 g is equals to 1000 mg so these are the word systems of conversions right so i'll give you one simple questions to do the conversion over here <coughs> If I say, uh, like, uh, convert. It says that I say convert twenty-three grams to milligram, like mg. So we write grams as grams. This is written like grams. So what are the abbreviations we use? Grams as g, like milligrams, milligrams as mg, right? Kilograms. Kilograms as kg, right? And then we write uh, millimeter, millimeter as mm, right? Centimeter we write centimeter, we write as cm, and meter we write this as what meter? Ten meter m. So what is the value you get? So I say twenty three grams is equal to two milligram. So we know that that one gram is equal to what meter? Thousand milligram. Right, so twenty three grams will be equals to what beta? Ah, uh, twenty three into thousand. It will be what? Two three zero zero. That is twenty three thousand milligram. Right. So what we did, like this is a bigger unit, and you're going to convert into what smaller unit? So you multiply, right? So if uh, uh, later on we'll be learning, like in the decimals, if you don't know how to write in the decimals, so we'll be doing the smaller unit to the bigger unit, right? So let's see, like if you want to convert a smaller unit to bigger unit, so what? How you will do? We'll write the answer in the fraction form only. So if I give you the question, like convert twenty three uh, millimeter to Centimeter, right? So how you are going to do this question? So we know that, uh, we know that, um, um, I think so. We should leave this part right now. Otherwise, if you understand, it's good to go. But this is the part which I'll be teaching you in the decimals again, so it's okay. Okay. So we learned that ten uh, cent, ten millimeter is equals to what? Beta one centimeter, right? So can I say that one millimeter by unitary method? Can I say that one by ten centimeter? Right or not? Yes. So we have one millimeter is equals to ten centimeter. So twenty three millimeter is equals to how much meter? Twenty three into one by ten centimeter. That's that's all you leave your answer mean by. Okay. So if you know how to put this in the decimal, it's okay, like twenty two point three. But if you don't know how to use the decimals, please just leave your answer like that. Okay. This we will be doing in a very better way while we'll be doing the chapter decimals. Right. Okay, now let's do this question. It says that a bus has started its journey and reached the different places with the speed of sixty kilometers per hour, right? So this is your speed. Your speed is how much, beta? Speed is what sixty kilometer per hour. What do you mean by what? That in one hour you are going to travel sixty kilometers, right? The journey is shown. The total distance covered by the bus from A to D, right? So bus goes from A, B, C, D. So from the first part will be what? A to D, right? So what you will be doing, you will be adding this. It will be what? The first part will be four thousand seven one hundred seventy plus three four one zero plus two one six zero, right? You will be adding up.
So you just add it up. So this is equals to what beta zero. This is seven seven fourteen fourteen ka one carry. So this is six and seven, and uh, this is equals to what seven and nine. So the first answer will be what beta nine thousand seven hundred forty kilometers, right? Now coming to the second part. What the second part says over here? Find the total distance the bus covered from D to G, right? D D to G, then D to E, then E to F, and F to G, right? So it will be what beta eight one four zero. That is eight thousand one hundred forty. Then forty eight thousand three hundred thirty. Then uh it's like 2550 right so it is zero this is 9 then 12 12 ka 1 right 10 15 15 ka 1 carry so this is 10 again 15 so he traveled how much distance beta the first second will be what 15520 kilometers right okay now coming to the c and the d part find the total distance covered by the bus if it start from the a and return back to the a so we have already done till where beta from a to d we already calculated from d to g we have already calculated so just you have to add what beta so for the third part we have already done the addition so total journey will be how much beta total journey will be journey Will be equals to what beta? We have already done. So the first part, what is the answer? We got nine nine thousand seven hundred forty plus. It will be what in the? Uh, it is fifteen thousand five hundred twenty, right? So plus fifteen thousand five hundred twenty, right? And now you have to just add this one, right or not? Right or no? So this will be equals to what? To, hmm. So this is equals to what one two nine zero. Just add it up. So this is equals to zero, and this is fifteen. Fifteen ka one carry. So this is equals to what beta seven eight eight plus five thirteen thirteen ka one carry. So this is ten sixteen sixteen ka one carry. So this is the total distance he traveled. So total journey will be what beta twenty six thousand three hundred fifty kilometers that he traveled. Right? Can you find the difference from the distance from the C to D? Right? C to D. And D to E, right? D to E. So the fourth part will be what, Vita? The fourth part is equals to what? Obviously, D to E he traveled eight thousand one hundred forty, and C to D he traveled twenty one thousand sixty kilometers. So it will be what zero. This is equals to eight. This is equals to fourteen, and this one is equals to ten, and this is nine. Okay, so this one is equals to what beta seven. So this is equals to five, right? So he traveled fifty nine thousand five thousand nine hundred eighty kilometers. That's the difference, right? You have to do the difference, right? Okay, now let's coming to the fifth part. Find out the time taken out by the bus to reach from A to B, right? Then C to D, D to E, and this. So from A to B, like we know that. Uh, What is like a uh, like you have to find the time. So we know that the speed time is equals to what I think. So you have learned this time is equals to what distance upon speed. Yes or no? Distance upon speed, right? So we have like a part from a to b. So a to b it will be what beta time will be equals to how much? It will be what four thousand one hundred seventy. And your speed was already given to you. So speed is what beta sixty kilometer per hour, right or not? This is sixty kilometer per hour, right? So divided by what beta sixty. So you just do it and just calculate, right? Okay. So you just do this from A to B, right? So this is the time. Now coming to B to C, right? So C to D. C to D is equals to what? Okay. C to D will be what beta C to D, right? So time is equals to how much beta? Two one six zero divided by sixty, right? Coming to C part, it says E two G, right? E two G will be how much beta? E two G, right? So first you have to find the distance. So your distance will be how much? Your distance is equals to what beta? Four eight three zero plus two two Five zero. It will be what zero eight zero seven, right? So your time will be equals to what beta seven zero eight zero divided by what beta sixty, right? Dude, I think so. Yeah, everything gets cancelled out, but this is going to come in the fraction only because um, in the six table you don't get seven, right? So just see this. Months, 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 months,
So here you get the answer as 69.5. Here you get the answer as 2160 divided by 60, which is equals to what beta 36 hours. 